Good morning, Reavers. I'm Daniel. And today I want to talk to you guys about a few things. Number one, this awesome auto dosing pump, this DP2 J Cod, is going to be our next giveaway. And what we're going to be doing is using these raffle tickets. So I will be giving away raffles during live streams, during video comments, during orders. So I'm going to be just giving away all month. Um, and then we'll do the drawing. That'll be a fun drawing. Um, to have raffles and if you guys want I can text you email you a picture of your raffle ticket just to make it a little bit easier For everyone, so there we go with that stay tuned for the contest requirements I think you're gonna have to do some posting um, pictures of your tank, so that's pretty awesome and then, Let's see what we got in this bad boy, so we got some new things in uh, BRS right so let's get this out of the way. There's our packing slip. Nice. Okay, first off, this box is beat to hell. So, what's up, guys? I mean, UPS, be a little more gentle. There's some sensitive equipment in here. But anyway, um, Hannah Checker. This is the new ultra low phosphate checker. I let somebody borrow mine, and I just figured I'd order another one since. You know, saves time. So these are my favorite thing too here. These are the calcium chloride pre-mixed one gallon packs. They're awesome. When you're using a dosing system um, like I have here and it's set up and I just use one gallon jugs. Dude, they mix so easy. You keep one on hand, you just top it off. No measuring, life. You gotta make the reefing easy. You wanna make it simple, stress-free. Everyone. You know, if you're regimen, you like to mix your measuring cups and do everything Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, write it down. Some people are very regimen and they're awesome at having reefs. Other people are just chill and it's like, whatever, man. They let their tank go and they do wonderful. So, all right, so what's up next? Oh, man, we got vitamin C supplement. I absolutely love Brightwell Aquatics. They have tons of cool products. So I'm really on a nutrition kick, um, not only for me, myself, getting back into bodybuilding and working out, but my corals. I really want to see what happens. And I know there's some past experience. You, you get what you put in. So we'll wait and find out with that. And then let's see. So calcium chloride, we got a whole bunch of these suckers. We go through this stuff like water. So there's that. Another one. Another one. How do we get so many calcium chloride? I kind of think I... May have ordered too many of them. Um, ah, here we go. Hannah Checker Reagent. Another thing, water testing regularly. If you run out of reagent, you're in trouble. So, always got to have backup. Um, this is a multivitamin. So, when we do our science tank, and that's going to be con concentrated almost like a nano. So, we're really going to get to see the effects of these on that tank. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how that works out. Um, you know what I mean? So I, I wanna do the best. Whatever's out there that I can do for the corals, I'm gonna try it. I want this to be a science 100%. You know, bodybuilding for me was always a science and the best people always had the best information and the best stuff to work with. So same thing with your tanks. This is RODI system. This is my uh, filtration. If you look over here, this is embarrassing, but I'm gonna put black sleeves over these now because there was allergy. That is dirty water coming in, so if that was zero TDS and the allergy was growing like that, I'd be a little worried. But that is, you know, the pre-filters, so it's not really an issue, but I need that covered. So anyway, these filters will get changed and will help take care of that. And these are the soft pellets, very nice. I love soft food for the corals, for the fish, for the shrimp, for anyone, the inverts, the crabs. This is another thing, soft clownfish food. So I'm gonna test out a couple different things. I always like to know what's good. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna rip this box, there we go. All right, GFO, high capacity, hmm. Didn't realize I bought the high capacity this time. Interesting. I'll have to see how this differs from the other ones. But cool. 
So there's that. And this is the Pro Cation Deion Resin. I'm I'm really gonna go into detail this this month. I can't wait to find out um, how this upgrade works. Because if you look up here, I was gonna change these today, and I'm using a mixed bed DI resin. Well, I got three canisters. So I'm basically wasting media for no reason replacing it because that's the color changing DI and it's mixed bed. If I do an anion and a cation, you know, whatever it is, um, I'll get a big, big up boost in capacity. You know what I mean? I won't be throwing it out as fast. So anyway, so there's that. Um, we got more of the premium carbon. I love this stuff. Very low dust. If any, um, I don't even really have to rinse the water much. Just one pass through the reactor and the water's clear. So that's really good. Um, we do a lot of fragging. So look at all this glue. I only use the gel. I hate the liquid runny stuff. It gets all over your frags. So I stick with the gel. Um, now my last bottle, this is refractation, uh, refractometer calibration solution. I did not trust it, the last one just seemed off, so I got another bottle to test it out, but if your system's not calibrated, what good is the tool? You could have the best refractometer in the world, but if that thing's not calibrated, you're screwed. So I have two of them over there, um, and I like to compare them both. I'm paranoid sometimes with equipment, I don't trust them, that's why I don't like the pH probes, they freak people out, you need two pH probes at all times just to check and make sure one's not broken. Uh, anyway. And then here's some new food. This is a vitamin concentration, Celcon. Um, can't wait, this is for food, like if you're dipping it in, um, saturating some seaweed or something. It's really cool, so test that out. And what else do we have? Ooh, look at this. The high level reefing food. This is true algae. I can't read this on here. But anyway, I'll be testing out this food. See how that works. Anything else in there? Mm. All right, so I guess that just leaves us with these um, Radeon XR30 Pros. So there you have it. The box is empty. That's everything. Um, I'm going to go through all this stuff. We're going to start testing out some products. I want to make sure that you guys, you know, your reefs are successful. You have the best information. You know what's good. And if you can save money, in the process, give you some good advice, I'm going to do it. So, as always, thanks for watching. No, 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 wait, 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 I forgot. I got one more thing to tell you guys. Um, so, as I'm working on these tanks and drilling these out, I am doing some custom laser-cut acrylic that's going to be my overflow. So, I'm going to have a whole entire back overflow. So, this is going to be an anemone tank, and I don't want a strong current because those suckers can sometimes get sucked in places. I'm actually going to make myself... Uh, custom low profile overflow like the ghost boxes that is going to go across the back here. So that's going to be sweet. Also, Reef of Palooza is coming up and I'm making a new custom frag system for Reef of Palooza. So water is an issue. You know, when you're traveling and you're not next to home, you can't just go get some more salt water. You need a frag system that makes it very easy for you. So, I'm going to be making some low profile display frag tanks that are going to be super custom, super unique. So, I'm going to be informing you guys more about that. So, some of you may know I have already built this tank. This is my um, frag tank that I built, eight feet long. Um, I think it's like three and a half feet wide, 200 gallons. The sump's 200 gallons too. So, that's 400 gallons right there for that whole system. Um, and that's just being generous with measurements and dimensions but I'm gonna build some sick stuff you know my goal has always been to open an acrylic manufacturing shop so uh, another thing too I might as well tell you guys when we start in the patreon page those of you who really enjoy what I do um, I'm gonna have some new level patreons and you'll be able to get a discount on stuff all the time so some of you who you know just for showing your support you're gonna get a coupon that's gonna be special to you your patreon code and you'll get a discount on um, you know, products and stuff like that, corals and special offers and first releases on new corals and, and all that good stuff. So I, I've really been, really been happy with the feedback with everyone's, you know, 
comments and all that good stuff. So we're trying to move forward. It was a tough winter. We've been extremely busy, but we're going to be doing a lot this summer. So I hope to see a lot of you at Reef Palooza. It's going to be crazy. Um, just a good time all around. And you get to meet a lot of cool reefers. People who have the same hobbies, the same addictions. <laughs> uh, people who understand. So, there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the update. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.